What our Sangha is doing is so important because they're reconnecting us and reconnecting our plant communities and reconnecting the flora and fauna of our communities and making us all aware of maybe what we've lost and what we still have and how we need to really hang on to what's left and try to make it better and try to, to pull all those pieces back together again. Today we're going to remove uh, Mile a Minute or Tear Thumb. I like to volunteer for its Sangha because they do such a good job at promoting native plants. Seeing their nursery is like they just have so much going on and so many people are involved and they have been for years and it's just such a nice community and I love being part of that. When you come out here to this place, you hear birds, they're all sorts, it's just a wonderful spot to be. It's like a refuge almost, to get to work with your hands, to plant things that started from seed, and look, look, they're growing, it's just great. Uh, Rome was built in the day at Ursanga. Around here we have a full acre of container yard, we have a 3,000 square foot greenhouse. Volunteers are really key to getting anything done around here. So the first day I came, I was super nervous, but I walked in, Lisa had a huge smile on her face. It's just a very like easygoing, peaceful experience to volunteer here, almost like meditative in a way. So a lot of that has to do with Lisa just making everyone feel like really at home and comfortable. Anybody who really like to play with the dirt or plants, they are our volunteers. Volunteering for a Sangha is like joining a family. There's so many different things that need to be done and so much work that needs to be done that there's always an opportunity. Volunteers with us kind of can do the full range of, of activities. We have people here who have never gardened a single plant in their life, you know, and they can start out uh, we'll teach them the ropes, they can fill pots, you know, they can weed, we'll show them what the weeds are and how to ID them, how to tell them apart from the things we're trying to grow. And that is for the nursery. But in the field, we actually putting out plants to plant and they can participate in planting in a big way. And another thing is that our wild areas, our public parks, is all covered by invasives, so removing invasives. That's what volunteers can do. Normally I go hiking a lot and I just sort of just think everything is beautiful and it's great and wonderful and you know the forest is great and doing well but then we actually learn about native plants and non-native plants and how non-native plants can really affect the whole ecosystem here and how it affects the bees and the animals that depend on native plants. You really get a different perspective. This trace of plants, that's called white wood aster. They grow in a exactly You know, I always think I, I know a lot about plants, but when you're with this group, you really, really get a much greater understanding of native plants and how everything, how everything works in our, in our natural environment here in Virginia. I think this is the one group that, at least for me, was a, a really good fit, just because of the, the friendliness. It's very well organized. There's just different locations where you can uh, go to. I think what I like about it is that there's just about something for everyone. Part of it's convenience, but part of it is also that they, they, they really have their act together, I think. If you are at all interested in nature and like plants in the, the tiniest bit, if you come and volunteer, like it's like a seed that will grow. You should volunteer because Lisa makes it so easy and makes it so fun and you feel like you're doing good and at the end of the day you actually have something to show for it and there's not too many things in life that we actually can say that about. Volunteers who especially stick with it year over year, this will be exceptionally gratifying. I remember the first time seeing a tree I had planted as a little kid that finally grew taller than me and now these sycamores, they're about 30 feet tall. Um, and I remember planting them, you know, and to give so many other people that experience of going back to a park in their community that matters to them, that has real ecological impact, and going and looking at this site and saying, 
I fixed it. It used to be degraded, now it's not, and that's something that I did from start to finish. I think that's just an amazing way of making a difference environmentally, uh, but also in uh, people's lives, you know, the people who come visit the park and the volunteers themselves.